Welcome back to the How to Play 1438 series. This time we're going to be doing Make a Star 5 items. Uh, so this is kind of an annoying level to be honest. The first thing we're going to want to do is come over here and grab the blue crayons. Uh, after that you want to get the blue chalk. Uh, you can get the white chalk here too, but I'm pretty sure that's on Mega Star 8, so you probably don't need it. Uh, it's kind of a good idea to pick up some stuff on the way over here for size, but we're gonna head over here. And we wanna head up this, uh, sofa ramp, and we wanna get this metal here. Now you don't actually wanna, like, drop down to the cinder blocks, cause then it'll be harder to roll up. I could probably make it here, just cause I'm big. Um, but if you're smaller, ah, stop. If you're smaller, what you want to do is stay like on the edge of the sofa, uh, and then just start rolling up from there. Uh, next, we're gonna head down here, and we're gonna get whoops, uh, some sushi. Just head around here and pick up pretty much all of it. Uh, you'll get all six kinds if you pick up all of the ones on this mat. Uh, so it's... We just want to make sure we get all the different types. And then after that we're going to head over here. Over to... Watch out for those. Over to the butterfly area. And now, uh, you want to get the butter... Uh, one of the yellow swallowtails and one of the white butterflies, which you can get on here. But then you also want to get this purple butterfly, which you... Just, where did it go? Is that it? Oh, no, he's over there. There's one purple butterfly flying around. Um, you can't get him when he's at the top of his path, so you have to wait for him to come down and grab him. Uh, so make sure you get the purple butterfly, get some ginkgo leaves, some maple leaves, and a poisonous frog. It's not a bad idea to get some extra stuff, just to get a little bit bigger. And then we want to get the senior driver sign right, sign right here, that's the only place you can get that. So pick that up. Uh, and then after that we're going to do any percent. I think you need 18.2 for these, right? Oh no, you don't. Okay, it's just 18 maybe? I forget. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do any percent. up through the sandbox. Whoops, I needed one more. Now, in the sandbox, uh, you can get one of these burglar masks if you want. If you don't get it here, we will have an opportunity to get it later since we are gonna come back here, but I have a history of forgetting it when I come back, so I started just picking it up here. Uh, and then we want to get the sushi ad right here. I'm going to have to roll up a little bit there to get it. And we're going to head this way. Now you want to be careful here because as soon as you hit 45 centimeters, the postcard which you need to get is going to despawn, even if you're like literally right in front of it. So I would just avoid the flower pots and just head over here to the postcard area. Uh, I believe this is the postcard, yep. Uh, do we need anything else there? No, I think it's just postcard. There's some other stuff here, like envelope and newspaper, but and New Year's card. Uh, but I think everything else we get somewhere else. So it's just the postcard that you really need here. So after that, we're going to get to 45. And so one thing about this level is that the cousin on this level, kind of like jungle, is on a cycle where it's only inbounds at certain times. Uh, this one actually goes in and out of bounds continuously, so there's not one opportunity to get it. It'll come back in if you let it cycle out. Um, so you want to look at your timer as soon as you get to 45 centimeters because that's when it's going to load the lower area, which is where the cousin is. Now, um, so the cousin is Honey, which you may also know as the worst cousin in the game. Um, the full cycle, she floats around on the river, the full cycle is five minutes, like, to get back to the point she started at. 
Um, from the time she comes inbound, inbounds uh, at one side of the river, it'll take her two minutes to go out of bounds on the other side, and then she stays out of bounds for three minutes before she cycles back in. Uh, so that's the full cycle. So um, when she loads, when you load the lower area, she's like right at the end of the inbounds part of her cycle. So she's right around, right about to go out of bounds. Uh, it takes about 30 seconds for her to go out of bounds after she loads. So about three and a half minutes from when you hit 45 centimeters is when she's going to come back inbounds. Um, so we have 10 minutes right now. I think if you do it fast, you'll, you might have 11, I forget. But usually uh, she's in the spot where you want to pick her up when there are six minutes left on the clock. So that's something you just have to remember. Um, if she cycles out of bounds, that's like pretty bad. Uh, the best thing you can probably do is just wait for her to come back in bounds. Um, unless there's not enough time left, which... They're, they're usually well big because she's only out of bounds for three minutes. So <clears throat> now that we know about that, uh, let's continue. So we, we are going to be keeping an eye on the clock so we know when she's going to come back in bounds. Now she'll probably get more than one bowling pin. Uh, we're going to come into the market here and we want to pick up like everything in this starting area pretty much. You can actually get the open close sign here too, although there are other places to get that, so you probably don't need it. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay, car lady is owning us, that's fine. Let's grab this. Um, I think at one point, we got something over here. Oh no, it was Chinese cabbages. Uh, but we got those on a different level, yeah. Don't worry about that. So we're going to come back out of the market after we get all that stuff. Uh, you're looking to get to about 65 centimeters in market. If you pick up like everything in there, you should get to that. Uh, after that, we're going to head over this way. We're going to grab Sweets container here. Uh, you can get Bundle if you didn't get that on 4 for some reason. There's some out here. And then down here by the river, there are some clapper boards. We want to grab one of those. Get ice cube tray if you didn't get that on three. Uh, we want to get the accident notice sign there. And then we want to get one of the stumps. Now you could pick up more stumps to get bigger, but uh, we're actually at a spot right now where we don't want to get too big um, because there's going to be a part coming up where we don't want to be very big. Uh, so try try to actually not get a lot of stuff here. You might have to fight your impulses, but uh, so we're gonna come here and we're gonna grab all of the little books in this area. I actually don't know exactly what you need. There's a weekly magazine. There's uh, these are encyclopedia, and then there's comic and magazine. Uh, you do want to be careful here though because a lot of stuff passes through this area, and there's. Um, this guy is walking around. We'll kick you. So just watch out there. Now, we're going to head over this way, and we're going to get on the way Japanese Lantern, which we already picked up one. There's another one. And at least one of the Hishimochis here, these little things. And then over in this area, we want to grab... Uh, you want to get at least one of the alarm clocks, which I already picked up. You want to get a cuckoo clock, one of those. And I think, no, you don't actually need the desk lamp or the lantern, but you can pick those up here if you want to be safe. Uh, you can also get the appliance billboard, those things on the wall here, but we're going to come back to this area later, so you don't necessarily need to try to get them here. Now we're going to head this way. Um, you can get a health meter here. But we do get those on Make a Star 8 now, so you probably don't need it. Uh, you can also get... I think it's Rice Container, which is the brown one here. Uh, or you can wait until we come back down, because we're going to be coming back to this area soon. 
Um, yeah. And then the last thing we want to grab is one of the telephone books here. So now, uh, and this, this like specifically is the spot where you don't want to pick up too much stuff. Um, because now what we're going to do is we're going to head back up to the upper town. Uh, the easiest way to do this without bonking into those people is to kind of go through the spot that I'm going through now. Like the darker part of the road on this side. You might have to do... Oops. Ah, we're falling. Can be a little bit tricky, but you don't want to get back up into here. Uh, basically, you want to be 90 centimeters or lower coming back in here. The smaller you are, the easier you are, the easier it's going to be. Uh, you definitely don't want to be above 95 centimeters because some things will be despawned if you get that big in the lower town. Now, when we're back up here, um, we want to look out for video game, which is just like a video game console. Uh, some of the items up here uh, spawn, like they just get shuffled and they're all in random locations. So. Uh, you don't know where the video game is going to be, but it will be somewhere along the path we take, so just keep an eye out for that. Uh, you do want to grab... you want to grab a sandal here, which is one of those. Uh, there's also a rice container up here. So these are the video games right here. Again, they'll be in a random spot, so just make sure you get one of those at some point. And then when we're back in this area, uh, like I said before, well, first of all, you should get the funny hammer and this kokeshi because you also want the stove top that's on its head. The gas range is what it's called, I guess. And then, like I said before, you can get a burglar mask here or you can get it earlier. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you want to get one of the cup and ball toys, which there are three of here. And you want to get the jumbo man mask on the tree. And then you also want to bump into the tree until the bird's nest falls, which you can see just fell right there, because we are going to want to pick that up. Uh, as well as one of these... oh, not quite big enough. These butterfly specimens. How big do you need to be for that? Like 95, maybe? Yeah. So grab the bird's nest. Uh, there are only five minutes on the clock, so I think we actually are going to miss the honey cycle, which is fine. We'll just have to hit it a little bit later, uh, since I'm taking a while to do some of this. But normally, at this time, you would be grabbing honey right now, so just keep that in mind. Um... Let's see. So you want to grab one of these flashlights here, or multiple flashlights even. I think there's somewhere else where you get flashlights, but I can't remember where it is right now. And then you also want to get the milk box here, although I think there's also somewhere else where you can get that. You can definitely get it on four, which might be a little bit easier, but it doesn't really matter. Now, uh, you can get these steel covers here, and it's kind of easier to get them here, but I get them on Make a Star 3 because if you get them here, you're going to be a little bit too big, probably, uh, when you're going back out to get back to the lower town, and if you're too big to fit through that gap, you might end up dropping stuff, so generally I try not to get too much extra stuff here. Like one meter is ideally where, where you want to be. You could potentially be up to like one meter, five centimeters, and still be able to get out, but yeah, like that's... Oh, no, we didn't drop the bird's nest. We dropped... What is that? Uh, manhole cover, okay. So yeah, we're gonna head back to the lower town. I think Honey should probably be cycled out. Oh no, she's right there in the river, yeah. Uh, we're not big enough to pick her up though, I think, so we're gonna let her cycle out. She'll probably come back in before the end of the level, hopefully. So right now, we're just gonna focus on getting bigger. Uh, you probably wanna get the kendo masks, as well as like the shovel and stuff, because I think that's been routed out of the any percent route. Uh, you also want to get one of these stereos, probably. And these speakers. Uh, you do want to get these ceiling lights here, too. You can get them on the any percent route as well, but uh, they are nice for size here, too. So, And 
I haven't gotten the mortar and pestles yet. Let's grab those. We're big enough to get to the size requirement for the level. So there are a few things we need in this area. Um, one of them is the laundry hanger, which is this little like umbrella looking thing here with no... Uh, I picked it up. And then the appliance billboards on the wall there, you also want to get. Um, let me check everything we need. Okay, we need delivery guy, businessman, chubby housewife, DIY dad, ceiling light, laundry hanger, which we already got, uh, roller boy, and telephone pole ad. So, don't really need grandpa or those guys, but you can get them anyway. Um, that's housewife, I think that was businessman. Here are the roller boys, we can grab them. Ooh. Here are the telephone pole ads. Uh, might be hard to get these ones actually, but there are also some over here which are a little bit easier. So they're not right up against the wall. Oh, that might be the business one. I think it is. A DIY dad who's hiding back there. Don't forget to grab him. I think we got everything. Like, if you just get all the people here, you should probably be fine. Oh, I think the chubby housewife is that yellow one, though, which we didn't get. Uh, so after that, normally after you get all of those people, you would get honey in the river, but uh, since we missed her, we're just going to head into the market. And you just want to get all the people in the market, pretty much. I think there's a chubby, yeah, there is a chubby housewife in here, so just get that. Oh no! Yeah, try to make sure none of them run away. One thing you do have to be careful of here is these fences, as you can kind of see there. Uh, if you need to get through, it's better to boost under it, since uh, when you boost, it just treats your catamaran like a sphere. So there's slightly less. There, there aren't. There isn't anything like sticking out. And then at the end here, you want to get the magazine racks. Uh, store dustpan. Can't remember if we need store dustpan actually, but you can grab that here. It used to be that we got the utility worker on the pole here, but we get that on Moon now. Um, and then the last thing you can do here is you can get the lottery signs, uh, but we do get those on, I believe, Corona, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. No, I want to go see if Honey's there. Yeah, there she is. So, usually you get her on the other side of the river. Let me show you where that is real quick. We got everything we need, so... Uh, normally you would have gotten honey earlier, so after you get through to the end of market, you can end the level. Normally when you get honey, she'll be coming out here. Um, and now one important thing here is that you want to actually stay back a little and let her drop down and come away from the edge before you pick her up, because if you try to pick her up right when she's falling down, uh, what will probably happen is you'll pick up her inner tube, which is actually what is moving. So when you pick that up, she'll fall and stop moving. And if she falls in the corner there, she'll be basically impossible to pick up. Um, that has happened to me during a, one, a run one time. So uh, ever since then, I've just played it safe and waited for her to come away from the wall a little bit before I pick her up. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this level. So again, normally uh, Normally you'll get honey earlier and then you'll end right after you get like the magazine racks here at the end of market So yeah, that's gonna be it for this one um, And that is all of the make a star levels that we need to talk about So the next level we will be doing is the cow level. That'll be the next video, which should be fun uh, so until then, thanks for watching. See you later.